Dear friends, welcome to M Plus, a platform to discuss and provide professional solutions to maritime QHSC operations and training matters. Let's discuss today an important observation in regards by wetting inspectors, the ground and sea stabilization of radar or the aspect of speed over ground and water. Let me cover these questions to have a complete understanding of the topic. Question number one, what is ground and sea stabilization or speed over ground and speed over water? Question number two, when one should use them and their interpretations? Question number three, what happens to stabilization when you change vector from true to relative? Coming to question number one, in ground stabilization, you get to see the movement of own vessel and all objects with respect to ground or earth. In other words, you observe course over ground and your input here is speed over ground that is GPS speed. In sea stabilization, you get to see the movement of own vessel and all objects with respect to or through water. In other words, you observe course steered and your input here is speed over water that is log speed. What creates the difference here in both situations? Well, the difference is the drift created mainly due to current and a few other factors. So, when you observe a movement with respect to ground, drift due to current and all other factors are taken into account and you get to see the resultant movement of a ship on its GPS speed with respect to earth. When you observe a movement with respect to water or through water, the drift due to current and all other factors is ignored because it applies equally on all the objects sailing through water. Let's see this by a simple demonstration. This is your vessel on the water with a GPS speed of 15 knots. When we talk about speed over ground, let me stand over the hilltop and watch your vessel. If there is no wind and current, I see your vessel 15 miles away from the starting point after one hour. So the speed over ground is 15 knots. Now there comes a two knots current from forward. When watching from the hilltop, your vessel moves only 15 minus 2 equal to 13 miles in one hour as current pushes against and your speed over ground in this case becomes 13 knots. In the third case, the current is from behind at 2 knots. When watching from the hilltop, your vessel moves 15 plus 2 equal to 17 miles in one hour as current pushes in favor and your speed over ground in this case becomes 17 knots. Now when we talk about the speed over water with your vessel's GPS speed same as 15 knots, I go down and stand on a floating plank which also drifts on the water surface due to current etc. Things are seen with respect to me now in this case. If there is no wind and current, I am not drifting and see your vessel 15 miles away from starting point after one hour. So the speed with respect to me or speed over water is 15 knots. Now there comes a two knots current from forward which pushes both of us against. I am drifting backwards now. After one hour, your vessel moves 15 minus 2 equal to 13 miles ahead from the starting point and I move 2 miles backwards from the starting point. So the distance traveled 
in one hour or speed with respect to me or speed over water becomes 15 knots in the third case the current is from behind at two knots which pushes both of us forward i'm drifting forward now after one hour your vessel moves 15 plus 2 equal to 17 miles ahead from the starting point and i move 2 miles ahead from the starting point so the distance traveled in one hour or speed with respect to me or speed over water becomes 15 knots that means drift or current has nothing to do with speed over water and this factor is ignored the speed over water remains the same in all cases irrespective of current now we come to our second question when one should use speed over ground and speed over water speed over ground is used when your vessel is in coastal waters or approaching land naturally you don't want to get aground here so you observe your ship's movement with respect to ground applying the drift created by the current etc and you must use speed over ground that is gps speed while using speed over ground radar shows a true vector of course made good and making you aware of the situation in case you are drifting towards danger speed over water is used for collision avoidance naturally when there are vessels around you want to observe how other ships are moving over water and approaching your vessel so that you avoid any close quarter situation with them the drift or effect of the current is the same on all vessels at this time so you use speed over water because you are not much bothered about your drift towards land here your focus is on the traffic movement here let me explain this with the ROR situation your vessel is on a true course of 0, 0, 0 degrees you have another vessel right ahead on a course of 180 degrees there is a strong easterly current say of 3 knots and because of that your vessel is making good a course of 030 degrees another vessel is making good a course of 150 degrees if your radar is on ground stabilization with true vector using gps speed radar screen looks something like this if there is a risk of collision you take action as per crossing situation here the situation as per screen gives an impression that another vessel is crossing from port to starboard making own vessel a stand on vessel but you are wrong ror and collision situations are based on the relative movement between the vessels not how they are moving with respect to ground radar is showing the course made good of both the ships here now we use sea stabilization with true vectors using log speed radar screen looks something like this the same situation would look like a head-on situation now this situation is the actual situation to worry as both the vessels are approaching each other to create a close quarter situation both vessels become giveaway vessels now and both have to take action here so by using speed over water we came to know their actual movement over water applying the same effect of current on both that's why wetting inspectors put much emphasis on this fact and they want you to use speed over water in radars for collision avoidance using speed over water a navigator can be sure of his assessment 
of Kohlreg situations. Please note in both the cases CPA and TCPA would not change. That is because CPA and TCPA are calculated with range and bearing of the target between two or more intervals. Let me stop here and ask you an interesting question at the last of this video. Trainers can pause here to assess the candidates finally. What happens if I change the vector from true to a relative in both the cases? How will the screen look now? Let's have a look at both the situations again. Any answers? Ladies and gentlemen, now the situation becomes one in both the cases and your screen looks like this. This is because now everything has become relative to your vessel as you have changed vector from true to relative. Please note that relative vectors are not affected by the change in stabilization. That is the reason some masters in olden time used to emphasize on always using relative vectors as they did not want officer of the watch to be confused in sea or ground stabilization theory and mainly concentrate on collision avoidance at sea. Of course, they were on the bridge to control the ship near ports or coasts. We hope that this explanation was useful and it adds on to your skills as a navigator. We will meet soon with another topic to discuss. You can always write and connect at these platforms. Let's discuss more because discussions are important. Bye.